Hello, my name is Milaros Garcia, and we're doing today baskets, and we're getting ready for the best-selling time of the year, which is Valentine's Day. I have a few ideas that I want to show you. Um, we are using uh, the Luck set, and as you can see, uh, we are taping all the products, and um, we're putting the uh, fragrance in the front of the box. We're taking the uh, fragrance out of the box from the bottom and leaving the wrap so that it can look uh, nice. And then this, we're using the body wash with this one. And the plastic plate, these plastic dessert plates are for sale at the uh, Dollar Tree. They're eight for a dollar. And we put them up upside down so that it can have a different look. It looks nice. Um, I like it better like that. So we're using the um, basket stuff and the silver one. And we're using the gold one for our mesmerized set. So we're also going to use uh, the mesmerized set on the plate as well. As you can see, we took it out of the box. This one doesn't have a plastic wrap. Some products do not have a plastic wrap. This one doesn't, and we're using the shower, um, the bath gel also on, on the plate. And this is the black suede. Um, we're doing the black suede with the Driven Rush. We're using two different products, and that's okay. Remember, um, your baskets are made, are designed to just, um, you know, a quick sale. Your customers can pick up a basket for gift giving, and if you have leftover products, instead of, uh, you know, sending them back, put them nicely together so that a customer can try another fragrance. And you can do sets. However, if you have some leftover products, you can just mix and match them with the other baskets so that, um, you know, so that you can sell them also. And I have here this one already. This is another, another idea. The Mesmerize. And in the back is the... Uh, shower gel and hair gel and we are tying them with this we made a nice gold ribbon I showed you how to do the ribbons and we're using this blue which matches with this so I'm gonna show you how simple this is okay and just basically Wrap it up, okay. and just make it, make sure you make it tight, and that's it. Make sure you don't tie it up too hard so that the plate bends. You don't want that to happen. So then you just curl this and if you want to add extra curling ribbon you can so that it looks nice very nice um, but the basket you can take them a lot of people ask me how do we sell the baskets take them with you everywhere you go you take them with you and Take orders from the businesses. Um, I usually go to small businesses and I let them know that I have nice baskets to sell. And setting up a table when it gets closer to Valentine's Day will, um, you know, get all your baskets sold. Because remember, people are looking for quick quick um you know gift given and if they're there and you have your basket guess what they can buy it from you see this is a gold we use a gold ribbon okay that we made 
this is a wired uh, ribbon and that's how simple it is that's how easy it is to make your valentine's basket okay so we are also tying this one and then we're using this ribbon here is also wired with the silver curling ribbon and then you go like that and you tie it then you curl it super super easy to do make sure that you put the basket stuff in and okay this has a knot at the end so we're gonna cut it and that's it that's how simple this is you can basically do a basket out of anything be creative just make sure that your products look good when you are displaying them and um, like like I showed you I make simple baskets I'm not super creative so I feel for all of you who are not let me borrow who are not um as creative and don't get me wrong I you know I come up with great things but when it comes to decorating and things like that it's not what what I do best so um, anyone can do these baskets I just add the basket stuff in and off it goes. Okay. So that's it. You fix the bow so it can look pretty and your basket is ready for a quick sale. Okay. And you can use any bowl, just make sure it matches with what you're doing and um, take your baskets everywhere you go, like I showed you. So I gave you a few ideas on the men's baskets. You can't make them too feminine because they're for men. So make sure that the bowls that you find are plain and they're, you know, they don't look that soft and feminine so this one is just white and it has some silver in it super simple and if you don't want to put a bow then you can just do the curling ribbon which we use a lot just wanted to add a bow and then this one is the um, aftershave for wild country I and mean, then I added uh, a deodorant to it right next to it and I taste it then I'm using the white ribbon curling ribbon with a golden bow and that's it you know this is so duplicatable with your team teach your team how to do baskets because if they are doing the baskets they're gonna be making money and they're going to be happy with their business, um, you know, selling the baskets and selling products. Okay, this one, can, this one is the tallest product, so we want to do it to the side. If they're selling the baskets, they're making money, and they're guaranteed their earnings at the time of the sale. So teach them how to do the baskets so that if they don't sell the product, um, they don't return it, they just put it in the basket for a quick sale. Um, or to take advantage of the What's New. Um, right now, the uh, Instant is on sale for $6 in the What's New. You want to make sure that you take advantage of that. Um, that's a $28 fragrance. It is a top seller, Instinct sells. 
sold the first time it came out, and it continues to sell uh, really well. So if you can get a hold of that deal and put it in a basket, you can sell your baskets uh, depending on what you add for at least $15. And then you're paying $6 for the fragrance, so you're making you're making up 100% profit, okay? Pay $6 and um, sell it for $15. Win-win. Everybody wins, okay? So be creative. Start your baskets. Teach your team how to do it. Let your customers know that you have them to find your referrals and people that... Um, want to order for their special occasions and you know thank your customers for the referral by giving them a five dollar basket and there's a video on that here too so use your basket to reward your customers to reward your team uh, instead of giving them a product make sure that you put it in a basket that works for me because every time that I give them something I put it in a nice presentation and it helps them also do the same okay it took me a long time for my team to understand the concept of basket making but now that they do um, one of my leaders sold 200 baskets for Christmas and another one um, sold over a hundred as well so that was great with baskets and products in hand. Okay, hope this helps you. Share the video and um, comment on it if you like it. And let's sell this another one that I'm gonna make. Let's sell with products on hand and baskets. I've already showed you a few examples. Um, they be responsible about your Avon business because if you're not um, following your schedule and you're not consistently working and you're not believing in yourself and what you can do, you your chances of getting to the top are not going to be very good. So I hope my videos help you and I have a series of different topics that I talk about and including videos in Spanish uh, on my playlist in Spanish. Okay, so happy Valentine's Day. I will continue to do more videos and happy selling. Bye.